if ever there was any any more proof needed of how much British British part, um, political parties are completely tied to the EU then Vindicator whose uh, who's channel I think you should, everyone should sign up to if you haven't done already has put up just a, a blinding video just proving how much the Liberal Democrats are the party of the EU Joe Swinson the leader is pretty much in the EU's pocket the Liberal Democrats have uh, completely sided with the EU Evidence first of all by um, Guido Hofstad coming over and campaigning with them during the European elections. Yeah. If you don't know who Guido Hofstad is, where have you been? What are you doing watching this video? No, I'm only kidding. Guido Hofstad was the Belgian Prime Minister. Um, and then became an MEP. And famously, or lately he's become famous for uh, his exposure in the uh, in the BBC documentary about the EU and Brexit. Um, and his absolute just vile rhetoric claiming that Britain would be a vassal state of the EU. Fuck it, I've made not a chance. If that hasn't broken, I can't believe that hasn't broken my, my people, to be honest. I mean, it was just it's despicable the way they were acting. These are meant to be politicians, you know what I mean? Yeah? The elite of society. They're yeah, representing the, the people in the EU Parliament and they're acting like kids. Yeah? And then we've got, we've got our Parliament, our shit show, laughable laughing stock of the entire western world in fact the entire world in general yeah. we established democracy all over the fucking world and this is what it's fucking come to disgusting I've never been more ashamed of our parliament than I have been these past couple of weeks. I mean, I always knew they were crooked, but it sticks to new laws, it really does. Uh, is it to do anxiety and stress? Management? If you don't know where I've been, uh, what, what I mean, uh, have you been hiding under a rock? Or are you just blind? Yeah? Are you not paying attention? I think 90% of you, that's probably what it is. Keep saying. Keep an eye on things. Yeah? Even though you may not be into politics, get into politics you need to. Seriously. Okay, here you are. Basically, whether you like it or not, politics affects your life in majorly significant ways without you even realising it half of the time. You may be a single mum. And benefits. It's like they're thinking, well, I'm not working, or I'm not really, you know, not, not really got any interest in it, all right? Not really got any, uh, you know, nothing that they say affects my life, which is what a lot of people think. But all the prices of your food, all the stuff that goes in it, all the stuff that's allowed to go in it, all the, um, all the rules, regulations, your benefits, everything is decided by those people in Parliament. That's why people, 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 those of you from the UK, Remainers, Brexiteers and couldn't be fucked alike, start taking note, start getting proactive. Because these people 
are going to kill freedom for our kids and our grandkids and their grandkids and their grandkids. We are devolving into a Soviet style super state where the rich keep getting rich and the poor get fuck all. No chances, no checkbooks, no nothing. This is the plans they've got. And all you people sit on your asses. They say, oh, politics don't affect me. I don't care if we're in the EU or not. Get start fucking caring. Look at the way our politicians have been acting. Yeah? They're in panic mode. <laughs> Serious panic mode. And they've employed that oh, that dog and pony show that's the BBC and most of the mainstream media in, in, in Britain to keep spouting Project Fear. If you think Turn around and saying, oh project, uh, yellow hammer. Like, whoa. remember that, that that document that was that was written and you know the government did and tried to hide. Philip Hammond wrote that. Philip Hammond Hammond, the EU sympathizer. Philip Hammond, the guy who didn't even go on our support authorities. Anything. Yeah. Philip Hammond, who is an absolute fucking arsehole. Yeah? It was Remainers that brought it under the guidance of the EU. It's all bullshit. There's a clip on YouTube and I'll post it in the description. Or I might put it at the end of this video, I'm not sure yet. It's from LBC Radio, from a guy who used to run the, the harbours in Dover. Yeah? The busiest port in the whole of Europe. And he ran it. And he states clearly and emphatically there is going to be no shortages and nothing's going to slow down the only thing that may change a little bit is just getting stuff out of Britain yeah? and that's a couple of forms for God's sake distributors right they get six months to declare it yeah in writing six fucking months if you can't right do a tiny bit of paperwork in six months and get it over to Britain. Yeah, there's something wrong with your company, you should be running a business. Simple as mate. Yeah. Get a grip. Yeah. We've not got much time left. October the 31st is looming, yeah, and we need to get out. Because believe it or not, you may not care, or you may be a remainer, and if you're a remainer, get your fucking head together. Because if we don't leave on October the 31st, there's going to be fucking hell to pay. If you listen to people online and you look at people online and you read what people say online, don't listen to the mainstream media because they're talk bullshit. Yeah? Speak to people, especially from the north. Everyone keeps going on about America could be going into civil war. That's bullshit. America won't go into civil war. There's no reason to. You got Trump. Their mainstream media is just as bad as ours. Our country on the other hand, it's a tinderbox. In fact, it's a tinderbox, doused with petrol, covered in ethanol, with a toddler and a lighter sat right next to it. That's how bad things have got. If we don't leave, I can seriously envisage, envisage not just unrest, Serious fucking shit. That's not me saying that. It's the last thing I want. You know what I mean? Last, last thing most of us want. But that's where things are looking. And I'm not just scaremongering. Start listening to real people. Start speaking to real people. Start listening to me more, at least, anyway. <laughs> anyway, like, subscribe, share. You know the real guys. Alright, see you later.